So much to talk about, Dev. I mean, we we saw you in Dallas at the fight. We didn't get a chance to chop it up. We saw you and your pops. Ryan came over to you. Um, I think you made it a little late to Dallas. But uh, how frustrating was it for you? Uh, because your dad expressed himself. But for them not making a big deal about Ryan fighting you when uh, he's your mandatory. Like, did, were you upset about the whole uh, the way the night played out? Um, yeah, I was, I was upset about it because they made it to where, you know, to basically, they, they fadangled the fans and fadangled the people to thinking that he could fight whoever and he could basically, it didn't matter who he, who he fought. In reality, when he fought, that fight was a eliminator to fight for a world title. And it's, it's, it sounds crazy because I'm the champion wanting to fight the contender. Well, like... I wouldn't say the contender. What would be the proper word for it? The the, um, the challenger. first mandatory. The challenger. The challenger. The exactly. Challenger, right. I'm 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 the I'm I'm the champion wanting to fight the challenger when the challenger should be wanting to fight the champion. Right. Yeah, normally it's right. the other way around. I got you. But that's just how hungry I am, and I could be I I could just sit back and relax and keep taking uh, easy fights. I could. You know, fight who, uh, just wh whoever falls in line because at the end of the day, I'm making great money. I'm world champion, and these guys clearly don't want to fight me. And I could just keep saying, uh, it, it, it's whatever. I'm gonna just fight whoever they put in front of me. But in reality, I, I want to fight, you know, the top guys. I, I, I want to make the biggest fights happen. Right. I know you don't want to do that. I know. I mean, yeah, the money's good. You're making seven figures or whatever, but I know you care about legacy. You're young. You know, you got too much talent not to care about legacy. But but listen, you flew all the way out there because it was a, an eliminator. And but it seemed like it wasn't. And do you think is it that he's scared or that he just truly wants to fight Javante Davis? Um. I just feel like that he thinks that Tank is the easier fight to fight me. And he said this before. This, I'm only going off what he's saying. I'm not going off. I'm not making this up. Um, he thinks that Tank is the easier fight. So he's willing to fight, you know, Tank because he just feels like it's a uh, high reward and it's an easy fight. Why not fight him? You know, he was on with us yesterday, Ryan, because you just mentioned belts. Like, he should be wanting to fight for a world title. Here's what he had to say about about Eddie Hearn, yourself, and just the world titles in, in, in general. Take a listen. Eddie Hearn, he's trying to make it seem like I'm uh, not trying to chase greatness with belts and stuff. Man, belts don't mean anything nowadays. Belts literally mean... I could take somebody off the streets right now, and if I play it politically correct, I'll make them a champion. That's not what it's about. Being a champion is to be the people's champions now. People know who's the best fighters in these divisions. They feel it. So uh, the fight to be made is me and me and Javante Davis. Uh, Haney needs to fight Teofima Lopez. That's what he, And whoever wins that, I'll fight the winner. What do you say to that, Dev? Um, I respect what he said about, you know, being a people champion. Um, I do agree with that. And when, when we have, when we have, when we have, um, the sanction of bodies and, you know, people saying that one guy is undisputed and the next guy, uh, has, is WBC champion and, and, you know, just, just twisting his words and saying one thing at this moment to, 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 to get, to get out of the, to, get out of the question and they're saying another thing to this guy just to get out just to get out of it i mean i do understand what he's what he's trying to say that belts are getting watered down belts are definitely getting watered down all right so we had suleiman on our show we have this segment called the state of the union so we have him on once a month and he said that if somebody beats teofima lopez then they will be considered the undisputed champion are you upset with all of this that's going on but like I and, and that's what I mean is he says he says one thing to to and, and to one interviewer say another thing to another interviewer he say one thing to me he say one thing to Tiafimo he said he spoke to you and it it's is all one, good he say one thing in this interview he say <laughs> another thing in this interview he say another thing in that interview just to get out of it um, do do you personally just, are you at the point 
where I mean, look, you 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 you're considered the WBC world champion. Do you ever get frustrated to the point where you say, you know what, I'm I'm gonna vacate this belt because I'm tired of people saying that 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 Tia Fimo's the the you know the the undisputed welterweight champion. And I'm holding the title. Or have you ever got to that point? No, I never got to that point. I got to the point to where I'm just saying, well, why don't we just make the fight happen to where it won't be no confusion. Right. If us two fight, I promise you, after the fight, it would it wouldn't be no type of confusion. Everybody would know who the real undisputed uh, king is, and it would be it would be nothing else. And I understand that. Does Tia Fimo understand that? I mean, ob obviously, that there would be no confusion after that. All right, you said that. You said that Ryan thinks that Javante Davis is, is an easier fight, probably because he's short, because he does say that uh, he, he'll never be able to touch him. But do you think that Ryan could beat Javante Davis? I think that it's a good fight. I think it's a, uh, it's a lot, it's a much better fight than what a lot of people think that it will be. I think that Ryan is much bigger than Tank. We saw Tank at, at 130, we, um, but have we saw him at 135. Has he, has he really showed up at 135? Right, just getting bold. That's all. Now, how how were you impressed at all with with the way Ryan was able to get off the canvas and stop Luke Campbell? Now, Luke Campbell on record is saying he's never been hit harder. He's the hardest puncher he ever faced, and nobody's been able to stop him. Not Loma, not Linares. Were you impressed with that? Um, I was impressed of, of how he got up and he 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 showed hunger. He showed grit. I was surprised with that. Um. And I think that was the main thing that he showed in the fight. I don't, I didn't see, you know, too much still there. I saw him, you know, he showed that he that he was hungry. He, that you know, you have you have to knock him out because he's still in the fight, even if you knock him down. He showed that aspect, but skill wise, I didn't see too much there. Okay, well, speaking of being impressed, because I know you're a very skillful guy and you're not easily impressed. Are there any current fighters right now that impress you at all? Like just any weight class? Yeah, any weight class. Um, yeah, of course. Uh, uh, a lot of guys. Um, I like Crawford. He impresses me. Uh, Earl. The Trondo brothers. Um, Joshua just, you know, impressed me against Pulev. I mean, it's, 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 it's a lot of good fighters do, out do, there right now. Do, do you feel Canelo Alvarez should be named pound for oh, pound? Oh, ca definitely dog? Canelo. Yeah, is he the number I, I one pound for pound? No, I think I think he's number one, and then I gotta go with uh, Crawford number two. But Same here. I I still think Crawford, you know, he's still knocking on number one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Same now, here. If, if for whatever reason, look, there's Javier Fortuna out there for you. There are other fights for you. If this Ryan Garcia fight doesn't happen and he goes on to fight. Tank Davis, which yesterday he told us that the fight is definitely going to happen. What What's on your path in, in 2021? What do you want to accomplish if Ryan is not the guy? Um, Of course, if Ryan is not the guy, then I want to go towards TFMO. If TFMO ducks me and he goes uh, another direction, then I'll be, I'll, I'm looking to fight Javier Fortuna or uh, Jorge Linares. Mm. That sounds good. Um. Jorge Honores, he used to be one of the greats. Javier, I think he's a little bit underrated. Um, which one do you think is a tougher fight? You know, the same caliber, like same type, type of caliber, same type of fight. Now, you know, look, Lo, uh, you, you mentioned to us before that, that you don't find the same value in fighting Lomachenko because Teofimo beat him. He's still considered one of the top welterweights. He's still on the pound for pound list. He has some things to say about the judges, that they weren't fair. I don't understand how he's still on the pound for pound list, but... Continue, yeah. right? <laughs> but if that fight what presented itself, w would you take it? Um, I remember at a time when Loma wouldn't even say my name. Like I was his mandatory. He wouldn't say my name. He wouldn't act like I even existed. So it's like, do I even want to give you a shot? Do you deserve a shot right now? Mm. Wow. Or do I want to fight one of these young guys who actually? Are, are speaking my name and you know throw me in the hat at, at one point Loma wouldn't even throw me in the hat of guys right. I, he, he would he, he would act like I didn't even exist right. so it's like no, I understand. do I really want to give you a shot you know it seems like right now you're in the same boat or you're approaching that boat that Terrence Crawford is in 
that Jamal Charlo is in where they're a top guy in the division. They have belts, but it seems like nobody wants to fight them. Have you ever thought about going up to 140 pounds because of that? Yeah, I'm interested in going up to 140, but it's just so many big fights at 135. It's hard to go up to 140. Yeah, the, the big money fights are there. And it the just got to materialize, though. It doesn't seem like these big fights, you know, I'm mentioning your name. Yeah, which which is true. And if if I can't get these big fights, if I can't, if it just doesn't work, then I'll move up to 140. Now you you but right now it's really no big names at 140 at 140. No, you're right. That's you true. and Javante Davis have gone back and forth, right? Now you're right. He hasn't fought at 135 often. I think I don't know one fight, and he, you know it was it's kind of tough. To, even though he made his uh, weight 130, 130 his last fight, he's had trouble before. Now, what if that fight? I mean, do you have a desire for that fight, even if he comes up and doesn't have a title at 135? Are you willing to fight Tank just just for legacy? Of course. If, I, if I'm willing to fight Javier Fortuna or, or Jorge Linares, yeah. what you think about Tank? Of course, it, no, I, no, no I, doubt. I would love to fight him. I think who's that would the be hard, his fight. Who's the hardest fight? I know you don't like answering this question, but on the eyeball test, man, on the eyeball test, you have to have an idea when it comes to styles who would be the toughest task. I think all of them are tough, <laughs> but I'll make them look easy. <laughs> that was Floyd Man. right there. That was yeah, smooth. Nah, no <laughs> doubt. Listen, look, I mean, look, no, we all want to see the fight. We, you know, we, we, of course, we'll, we like to see Tank Davis versus uh, um, Ryan Garcia, you versus Ryan Garcia, and, and Loma uh, Tiafimo against anybody. I mean, we talk about this that this is the Hagler, Hearns, Sugar Ray Leonard era. The yes. only difference is those guys. Uh, they had seven fights amongst each other. So it's mm -hmm. time for, for this to happen amongst you guys. So we're hoping for the same thing that you want, Dev. Definitely. Thanks for taking the time, man. It's always Appreciate a pleasure. It. Devin Haney, Thank folks. Thank you.